pulled out and looking for Bellstar to make sure her calf is doing great. Out of nowhere, we even got another surprise. Start a new challenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Here goes. Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Turners Bison. I'm Dusty. That's Brooks. Marissa's inside the truck here. We're doing a little herd check. If you guys saw the last most recent video, you saw some amazing footage that we had from one of our original females that we started off with. We started raising bison in May of 2018. Bell Star have a calf. Filmed the whole thing. Exciting. Well, the next day, we even got another surprise. We pulled out in the pasture. We're actually filming and looking for Bell Star to make sure her calf, by the way, is a little heifer calf, is doing great. Checking on her out of the blue, out of nowhere, here comes a new red dog. Completely different mama. Little Quapaw heifer is what we call her. Came from Quapaw, Oklahoma. Had no idea she was about to calf. She's a sneaky one for sure. The little baby from Bell Star is doing great. We stuck around and waited um, and made sure the calf was great. Eventually got up on his feet and you just trust everything is gonna go well. Next day we came out, perfectly fine. Hey, Hossie. Hey, Hossie. Look at there, old Hoss. Is he your favorite? No. No, he's not your favorite. <laughs> so you can see these guys are loving the green grass. It's beautiful here right now. They're looking fleshy, healthy. And they're loving this. So with that being said about our little heifer from Bell Star, didn't you guys think it was really unique of all the green grass that we have and that pasture she was in, which, which was pasture three. She chose to have the calf in basically the dust or some of the topsoil that is left over from the burn. And so that would be ash and topsoil left over from when we did our blackberry burn about a month and a half ago. That's the spot she chose. I don't know. We are taking opinions on what we should name her. I think it's interesting. So Mama's Bell Star, I named her after an, uh, an outlaw, Bell Star in Oklahoma, kind of the uh, Jesse James crowd, kind of widely known in Oklahoma for being an outlaw. She's calmed down a lot since those days of when we just started raising bison. She's calmed down a bunch. Oh, they just walked away. Oh, there's Big Joe. Big Joe's coming over here to talk to Marissa. He's saying, where are my cubes? So, I don't know. We're open to some names. We need some help, guys. You guys hey. let us know. What, babe? Um, Sawyer watches our videos. Sawyer watches our videos? Well, tell him hi. Hi, Sawyer. Say, hey, Sawyer. Thanks for watching, buddy. Looky there, I bet he likes this guy. Right there, huh? Who doesn't like this guy? Pretty good boy. So if you're wondering whose baby that was, you're looking at him right there. That'd be a big Joe baby for sure. Something else exciting, who else is very close to having a calf? We're keeping a close eye on. That's our princess, Eleanor. Eleanor is so close to having a calf. She is getting so big. Eleanor, look at that belly. Eleanor, you're so big. This is like the biggest I've ever seen Eleanor. It's crazy. She is about to pop. and So we're going to keep watching her. Could be a couple of days, I think. Come here. Some of our crimson clover that's coming up. Here, this is a wild indigo. We have these every year. They're beautiful flowers. They're a nitrogen intake plant. Hold on, babe. And they also are great for butterflies and moss, insects that come around here, I believe. So these guys will be blooming here in about a week. They're already starting. Nimbling on. Hey. All right, we'll be back. Hi, right, guys. We are headed to a buddy, Mark's place. We're headed to go get Cora, buddy. 
right. I like to do that, especially like if I'm about to start them, I'll just start putting that bit in their mouth and let them learn. But once it's there, it's not going anywhere and you gotta drink around it and all that. Get used to it. <laughs> Oh, She's gonna be freaking out on the way home. Yeah. She's never been by herself. Yeah. Or I'm really see what poor Hey guys, Brooks and Marissa and I just made it back to the Ponderosa. Hey Jackie, hey Jackie, we brought you another friend. Huh? <laughs> we brought you another, and Charlie, oh Charlie, yeah. Turn the light on real quick. Cora's all excited. Chickens. Hey Cora. <laughs> Bullet, we got the whole crew. Yeah, they're all Everybody stir it up. Hiya. Oh, yeah. Here's Cora. Hey. She smells something. She knows something's up. <laughs> Jackie's excited too. Oh, Cora. This is going to be fun. I'm excited. Cora's getting so big. Cora. Cora. Come here, girl. Hey. Hey, 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 Jackie, quit, quit, quit. Hey, Cora, you inside it? Okay, hold on. You got this? Okay, stay right there, babe. You excited? Your new friend coming to the ranch. There it goes. Jackie. <laughs> hey girl, you're so sweet. <gasps> Low on sure. Good job, girl. Each 
Get me all worked up. <laughs> I'm going to take her. Dusty? Jackie, step on your foot. Look at this beauty here. Oh man. If you guys remember my buddy Mark, as you saw in the video, Mark is one of my good friends that's come over and helped me. Got the hookup to get Cora and also has came over and helped train our beautiful buckskin. And if some of you guys are new, that is Cora. She's two years old now. And this is the newest member of the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch family. She actually doesn't have a name yet. Brooks has not named her, but you guys remember when Mark came over and we did the roundup here this past spring, we pulled the Dunbar herd all the way up and we worked them this, this spring. Um, we actually brought, I had Mark bring some horses over. Well, he brought one of his horses over, one of his studs named Mose. Mose was in that video and this is her dad, basically. He's a red roan. This is a beautiful little bay roan filly that we have here has joined the family. Yes, we have some new challenges ahead of us, but I feel so much more comfortable now that I've gone through a bunch of that with her. I'm no horseman, okay, at all. I'm just a bison guy, but we're learning and I feel comfortable um, raising one like this. So those of you, especially you horse people that have been saying, she needs a friend, she needs a friend, she needs a friend. Cora needs a friend. Well, she's got one now. But for those of you that said she needed a friend, it hasn't been very pleasant. I'll just tell you that it hasn't been uh, a super friendly uh, occasion of a nice warm welcoming from Cora. She's been uh, pretty defensive. She's been very protective of her place. As you see, she's in a separated pen here because we had to separate them. And this is a surprise. She actually came up to me. It's a lot of this going on recently. So this is a good sign. She's only been here a week and she's uh, already coming up to us. So anyways, yes, it hasn't been a warm welcoming. Uh, Cora did not do, uh, and I had this feeling, Cora is kind of sassy. I don't know where she is. She's kind of sassy, guys. And uh, when we brought the new Philly home, Cora did not uh, welcome her with open, loving arms. Let's just say that. Um, so we're going to see how this relationship goes. So we obviously had to separate them and do a soft, you know, introduction. And we introduced them. And Cora was just mean. She pushes her. She comes at her. I watched her bot her a couple of days ago. I didn't keep them together very long. I was like, this is not going to work for our poor girl. She's actually really, really sweet. And Cora's kind of being ugly. And, you know, I get it. Cora's been here for a year and a half. And then you bring somebody new in, right? I understand. She's This is Cora's home. But now we got to welcome our new little filly here. We got to get her a name. But like I said, her dad is a red roan. His name's Mose. Mark could probably say who the mom is. But beautiful horse. Excited to raise another horse. Cora's starting to get the saddle put on her a little bit more here and there. Nobody's getting on her or riding her anytime soon but want to introduce you to our beautiful girl need some suggestions just like on our bell star heifer we need some more suggestions here help us out and we'll run them by brooks because at the end of the day she's the boss guys she makes the decision 
Thank you guys for watching us. We're going to keep on Boston Ranching. We'll see you guys soon.